everybody. So, you want to be on camera? No, I don't. Okay, he doesn't want to be on camera. So, um, so BJ and I have been diagnosed with COVID nineteen. Hmm. This thing is very interesting. It ain't no joke. You know, you can't catch it. It came out of nowhere for us. Just a, a quick, I guess, recap. It's weird. I, I travel for my job, um, but I'm super safe. Um, BJ does not travel for work. He stays, like, at home. He works from home. Um, but sometimes he does DoorDash. So, but when he does DoorDash, or when this week when he did DoorDash, he uh, only dropped things off at people's doorstep. You know, like contactless Door DoorDash, and then um, he comes home. But he we rarely come in contact with people. Um, so that was about okay. Today is Saturday. On what was it Wednesday? He did DoorDash Tuesday. Um, started feeling bad about Wednesday morning. So, uh, it, it was a sinus infection. That's what we just knew. It had to be a sinus infection because we both get sinus infections every now and then. So I'm like, okay, wife mode. So I go to the grocery store, you know, I go get like the um, Sudafed that we use for, uh, our sinus infections and stuff like that. Um, he takes the medicine, you know, we start cooking just to make sure, you know, everything's okay. Anyways, uh, he has like a really low fever, um, and so uh, we, you know, we treat that and stuff like that. Then Wednesday night, I started feeling kind of bad. Like my throat was tingling a little bit. And I was like, oh, man, it's my sinuses too. So um, anyways, Thursday morning, I'm like, okay, it's just my sinuses, etc. cetera. So uh, I, you know, the workaholic I am, I don't know if I want to tell everybody, but I went to work on Thursday morning. I had my mask on and everything. I wasn't near anybody at work or anything like that. But as soon as I started feeling a little bit worse, it was like by lunchtime, I just was like, oh, no. I feel like I might be having a fever or something. I need to go. So I left work. Um, we went to the doctor's office. By that time, my fever went from like, I checked it when I first got home before we went to the doctor's office and it was 99.6 by the time they actually got got to see me it was 101.2 so they did a rapid covid test and a flu test on me flu test came back negative covid test came back positive bj didn't have a fever anymore he had uh um just aches and pains and like congestion and stuff like that but like i was just oh it felt so bad. Um, and uh, so anyways, that's how it happened. And I we're kind of confused as to where we contracted it. Because um, we're pretty safe in the office. And uh, to prove how safe we are, even me being there, everybody who's tested at my job, um, after I let them know, all of their tests came back negative. It was just me. So, um yeah, hmm, but uh, with that, I have, um, BJ and I have been, you know, sitting in this house in isolation, and I know he loves it, spending, uh, spending all this time with me, he says I don't leave him alone, so, he's just so handsome, his hair is growing out, he's, he's getting all curly again, y'all, woohoo! <laughs> Um, and then, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, but like y'all prayers, they work, uh, at least the people I had prayer for me, they know Jesus somehow because like I had shingles before and, uh, I was feeling, I felt like needles in my back, like my whole back just started breaking out, uh, um, and it was like, it was, it was small, but I felt it coming, right? But it was burning. Like, it was so sensitive. It was burning. And it was just like, uh, like needles, right? And it was like all the signs of when I had shingles, like way back, uh, 
when I was in college or whatever. Um, and usually it happens uh, when your immune system is low. And what's crazy is that I don't, I only get sick when my immune system is low, and I had a pretty stressful uh, week, at, well, a few days prior to me getting sick, so I feel like that may have contributed to this, um, but uh, it it was so bad, like, I couldn't even sit back, y'all. Like, that's how bad my back was feeling, but whoever... You know, y'all are that was praying for me. Thank you so much because it's clearing up um, and it, it's less painful. Like at first I couldn't even walk like right. But just a word of advice that I got um, with this COVID thing, what happened, uh, they told me, uh, I saw something online that said don't lay in bed. And I was like, okay, well, that's cool. I'll just sit on the couch all day. No. You need to walk around. Uh, you need to do stuff. Be active. They said all like I would rotate um, walking around, being active, maybe cooking or cleaning something or like playing piano or something like that. Doing something, then resting, eating. I drink a lot of Pedialyte and water and juice just to stay hydrated. And Pedialyte was kind of like just in case. I wasn't hydrated enough, um, and I, I've been starting to feel a whole lot better. But, uh, but yeah, what is it? Day Thursday? Oh, it was it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday? It's only been three days, guys. We're gonna be in this house in quarantine for well, for ten days is what they said. So right now, we can't really do anything until February first. Which sucks, because Tasha turns 18 on the 27th of January, and I wanted to do something nice for her, um, for her birthday, like, either this weekend or next weekend, but I'm going to be stuck here for that, so, but, anywho, day by day. Good morning. It's the next day. It is Sunday morning. Um, and so I look not super flattering, but I clean myself up, you know? Um, and I'm really nauseous today. And I'm, um, I've been getting, like, headaches, you know, uh, throughout and stuff like that. It's just, it was, like, really weird. I got, like, since the first day, I've, I've been, um, like, I feel, like, really lightheaded. Um, but, like, I don't even know if that's the right word. It's, like, pressure right here and right here. And it, it, like, makes me feel really lightheaded sometimes. Um, and it'd be kind of tingly. I don't know if that's... Uh, probably is not a good thing. But, I mean, I don't know what comes with this. I don't know what doesn't. All I know is that I'm kind of nauseous. And I just, I just want a piece of bread. <laughs> So here, here I am back in the infamous spot, like, where I always sit on the couch. Um, my chest is, like, congested a little bit, so hopefully the tea will help. I kind of only want some bread. BJ's awake. He uh, is still, like, really, really congested, too. So um, I think he's going to take some soup for it. Um, Hopefully the tea helps for me, and I just want a piece of bread. That's it. Like, that's all I want is bread.
I know that's strange. I don't want it to have no flavor, no nothing, no butter. Just want it to be plain bread, not toasted, anything, just bread. I know. <laughs> you said that's weird. So let me touch base. It is about 8 o'clock almost, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But I had to change up. Yeah, I got a roll of toilet tissue up there. <laughs> I had to change it up a little bit. I had to sit on the floor. I um usually try really hard to monitor my screen time, you know. I know that sounds like something that people say to kids and stuff like that, but I can't watch too much TV. Like, I can't because I just get, like, uh, sucked into TV and then I just don't stop. <laughs> but um, I guess I'm having too much screen time, like, unusual amounts, and my body's just not, like feeling it because usually I'm on the go and I'm even if I'm not like physically on the go like I don't know I'm like shifting rooms or something and I'm moving around a lot or whatever but uh I've been kind of in this room uh so I think the worst part about COVID is first everybody experiences something different right is what I'm hearing uh for me it comes in waves right but then on top of that it's like they they make you be in isolation because it's so contagious however being in isolation is probably not uh the best if you don't have anything to do in isolation because I think the best way to get over it is to kind of keep moving, um, but in moderation, like do what you can do. I feel like s since I have this time and like in moderation, of course, I just want to balance this. I don't want to spend my whole like quarantine time like just watching TV and like wasting the days away. Of course, because I kind of don't feel up to doing a whole lot. I, I can't do as much as I would usually do. But I, le I at least want to, like, diversify my my intake, I guess. So, um, and that doesn't mean I have to do anything. I think that just means a lot of, like, not doing anything. So, I'm going to sit and eat this apple in silence. Well, as much silence as I can get, because PJ has the game playing in the room. He's in the Madden League, so he's, like, got these games at different times of the night with these random people online that get pretty intense. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to sit, and I'm going to pray. I got to just figure out, like, Man, like, God, what you trying to say? So, good morning. Um, I woke up at, like, 6 o'clock on the dot, right? Partially because my back was hurting. Like, my, my lower left side, maybe I was sitting down too long or maybe I was stretching too much or something yesterday. I don't know. But it's, like, my lower left side of my back, and it was, like, a whole, uh, pain that went down the side of my left leg and I was like dang and so that back pain made me really uncomfortable um anyways 
Uh, so I woke up early and I said, all right, I'm going to get up. It's like 6. I don't have to be at work until 8.30, right? Um, so I said, maybe it'll give me my body enough time to kind of just like wake up, do stuff. I'll just get in my normal routine of how I do things in the morning. And then like maybe that normalcy will jumpstart me feeling brand new. I don't know. Anyways. I started, I was like journaling, um, figuring out some things and everything, but uh, then um, I started to get really tired and then my, so the heat is on because I'm cold, but it's on low, but like whatever it is, it's irritating us both. I don't know, like our sinuses or something, like it's either too cold or too dry or too Ugh. So, like, I, my head started hurting again. I laid down a little bit, saying, all right, I got a little bit of time, like, midway through my adrenaline. But, y'all, my stomach, I feel very, very nauseous again. Um, and so I went and got me a plain piece of bread because I was like, maybe I need to take a Tylenol or something and get it to kick in before I start work but when I say it comes in waves it's like I thought I had it really did but now between like my back and my stomach feeling really queasy and then my head hurting and uh like my nose burning y'all I don't want to be a baby and I'm not a baby but I do know that, like, realistically, if the doctor is going to give me some time to get myself together, then maybe it was wise to take this extra time, you know? Even though, like, I'm like, man, I hate falling behind and stuff. But, like, ooh. Maybe I'll see after I eat this bread and take this towel and all, like maybe when 8.30 hits. Because right now it is, right now it's 7.20. So, ooh, okay. So, uh, plan was, plan was to, okay. So the plan was to uh, kind of get myself together and stuff like that and then, you know, shower and change and do what I have to do to kind of be ready by 8.30, but I don't think I'm able to go in today. Uh, I, like, kind of feel like I need to throw up, so... <laughs> Anyways, I think it's just the mornings. They're like the worst. The worst. So, the plan is I think, regardless of how I feel, I'm going to work tomorrow. So, anyways, I need to lay down. <laughs> Alright, so, I ended up not going to work today. Um, like I think I already told you, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Um, and I laid down, I think right after my last video, it was probably like seven something, about to be eight. I am just waking back up. It is 1248. So I needed that. Um, I try not to like just sleep, you know, too much with this because I could have totally went back to sleep, but... Uh, the Tylenol helped my back. Thank God. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I put a pillow behind me and I ended up resting on the recliner and it helped. So I'm going to get up now. Um, and I'm going to be up for the rest of the day. I'm going to get myself together because, girl, I know y'all probably like, oh, she wearing the same thing as yesterday. Just, no, I'm just waking up. That's, that's all, you know. Same pajamas. That's that's it. So, anyways, 
Um, I'll touch back later. I'm gonna eat something. So, alright. It's about, it's actually 7.57 now. PM. Um, I did get myself together, you know, changed and etc. Um, today is Monday. Um, it was probably a really good idea that I didn't go to work today. Um, because for some reason I'm having, tr well not for some reason, probably because I am sick, but I can't concentrate. Like, I've been trying to concentrate, but when I start, I just get super like tired and <gasps> I tried to eat lunch today after I woke up. And like midway through my salad, I got like so nauseous. And I just had to stop. And then, um, I got, I'm eating now. And I'm just, um, I was nauseous like a couple minutes ago. So I stopped. And then it went away. I don't know. This is weird. This is just so <laughs> weird. This whole thing is just weird. Um, so, anyways, that's just, like, my life. I did do some moving today. I changed my seat up, so instead of sitting on the couch and stuff, I sat, uh, <coughs> at our table. <coughs> and you hear BJ in the background. Um, so at the table, I got, uh... Well, someone came and brought us some ginger ale today. That was very, very nice. Um, well, BJ's mom. Nah, it's just someone. <laughs> um, and so, uh, yeah. I'm just, I don't know. I think I'm done for, for the day. It's about to be 8 o'clock. And I'm just tired. I think I'm just so unmotivated. I'm tired. It's hard for me to concentrate. And then, like, when I do feel really, really bad throughout the day, I just want to lay down. And that's so unproductive. Why? This macaroni and cheese. So, um, super. I don't know. Good morning. Um, my hair. What I did was I took off the scarf, y'all. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to your hair because you're not feeling good. So, I got to do a lot of work. Um, I feel a whole lot better today uh, with, well, it might help that I just, anyways, I woke up at like 1 and I could not go back to sleep. Um, my back was just bothering me so much. It's like this, ugh, like this pain goes right down my left leg. It's terrible. Um, I mean, ugh. So I ended up not being able to go back to sleep until like around three-ish. I even moved from upstairs down here on the couch last night just so I could kind of sit with like something propped behind my back and behind my neck and everything. And anyways, I still needed, uh, like a painkiller I tried so hard so anyways I took a painkiller I ended up being able to go back to sleep around you know like 3 30 ish or whatever so um but with that aside I do feel uh a lot better today um I feel the unction um to I need to go back to work so I'm going back to work today um I, uh, I'm up. It is 7.42. I need to be prepared to s start everything by 8.30. So I'm going to start getting, uh, well, I'm going to jump in the shower and get myself together and looking decent. So fun fact, just because I was thinking about it, today is the 26th. Of January okay just so everybody's aware and I had a dentist appointment scheduled this morning at nine o'clock right and then I had another 
I had a hair appointment scheduled today for like four ish with um a, a friend from back in the day who is like a bomb.com hairstylist like so bomb that I had to schedule this appointment like early December like or not even early December she didn't have this available early December somebody had to cancel just so, me, so I can get this appointment because she didn't have availability until like late February right so I was like ooh finally I get somebody to actually do my hair at a salon I have not taken my hair to a salon since I've been natural uh, I've been just doing it all myself at home um ex well no 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 with the exception of when I get like like braids I think I've gotten braids three times in t the two years it's about to be more than two years that I've been natural. April, I think, will make my... No, April will make my second year, full year. So, um, anyways, I was so excited. I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to get this hair done. I'm so excited. I scheduled myself a photo shoot. Thankfully, I'm the photographer, so I don't have to cancel with myself. I just know, you know. <laughs> and I was just, I was so excited. I had a whole lot of things planned, and then this thing hit, so... Um, I got it rescheduled, but for like next month. So, yeah, I would I would have been looking like a whole snack later today. Like, ugh, I already like I was already scheduled not to be at work today. This was the day I was gonna be off, and ironically, this is the day that I guess I'm coming back. Oh, it is twelve thirty-five. You know, I um, I went to work. I had my meetings. I feel fine. I need to fix my necklace. Um, I feel fine, like good enough. That pain in my back keeps coming, you know, back and and, and forward. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, it's there. So I'm kind of like shifting my weight, trying to not hurt too much. I don't want to keep taking Tylenols, y'all. Like, I don't want to be dependent on no painkillers. I got Jesus. Yes. And so, um, yeah, so I've been getting a lot of stuff done. I'm caught up with my work stuff because in reality, I only missed two and a half days. So that's not too bad. Um, so, I'm good with some of that. I still have a lot to probably do. We have another meeting at 2 o'clock. I just got another email. Let's see what that's about. Even though I guess I should be on lunch. I don't know how to do that. When I work from home, I just, I like start lunch. And then if somebody needs me, I just kind of like forget. I know that's so bad. But anyways, this is good. This is this is good. So, um, I uh, I work till five. Then I um, I saw an email earlier this morning about somebody wanting a logo uh, reworked or something. So after work, I'm gonna probably work on that. Play piano. That was my second daily intention. So logo, piano, and then. Um, I think my third daily intention was it. I don't. I don't remember. I gotta go check it out. It probably. I might not have wrote one today because I didn't know how it would go, how I would feel later. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so it is five fifty six. So I finished work at five. Um, I went right into. Uh, this logo design that somebody asked for. Um, I switched computers and everything, and I um, went right into that. And that's pretty good. Like, um, I was able to finish, and it's been like an hour. So uh, that works. It wasn't It wasn't too complicated what he asked for. He was, this client is very specific whenever he asks for stuff, so it, leaves the guessing and the creativity out which is great if you're trying to like get it done quick so 
Um, so yeah, I finished that. And now the only other thing on my list today is 15 minutes piano. Um, and I think I'm just going to chill. Tomorrow is going to be a really busy day. Um, as soon as I get off work, I have uh, vocal lessons and then I meet with a client uh, for about two hours on Zoom, um, like back to back. So it's work, 5.30, vocal lessons, 6.30, meeting with the client. So I probably got like 30 minutes to eat. Maybe I'll eat like a late lunch tomorrow. Um, so anyway, so that is my day. It's not as exciting. Um, you know, as you would, <laughs> because I can't go anywhere. Uh, but um, I think I'm I'm feeling really good, like as far as COVID wise. I think getting back in the groove of things kind of helped me. Um, my back seriously is hurting me. Like I think I'm gonna have to get some anointing oil and lay some hands on that, cause boy. Uh, but aside from that, um, I'm feeling good. I'm almost feeling back to normal. Um, There's some times when I was working and I was getting a little like, my head was hurting a little bit, but you know, I can power through a headache, like psh, it's a headache. Uh, so, I think I might end my video here with my COVID journey. Um, if you like um, videos like this, like day in the life of or vlog style videos, I could totally do it. It is a lot less prep time um, for my other content um, that I create. I think I might do more vlogs uh, in the future uh, or vlog styles. Um, just let me know, uh, I guess. If it's something that you would like to see more or not. Um, and remember, as always, today is a new day. A day where you and I have the opportunity to choose better, love stronger, and shine brighter than the day before. Shine strong. Live long.